In the south of the reef, near Ketama, at the end of a valley nestling in the heart of the Atlas Mountains, lies the village of Tarzut, which is Berber for place where there is everything. The inhabitants of this mountain village are known throughout Morocco for their leather-working skills and the quality of their leather goods. Mohammed is one of the best craftsmen in the village. The tanned hide is wetted, then scraped for a long time to soften it. The most commonly used skin is cowhide. The leather is then cut out around a wooden pattern. A dry point is used to mark the main points of the decoration. The decoration is made by pressing down on the leather with a wooden instrument. This changes its color. To soften it, the leather is regularly worked with a wooden pestle. The different motifs are either made in this way or with the point of a compass. Some motifs are then painted using vegetable dyes applied with a wooden implement. The bags are made by Mohammed and his sons. It takes four to six people to make one bag. Next, the decoration is finely embroidered. The holes are made with a punch, then the coloured thread is passed through by hand. The stitching is concealed with a piece of leather. The two parts are joined together using the wooden pestle which is used at every stage in the process. The bag's tassels are made from one single piece of leather that is cut lengthways. The two main parts of the bag are sewn together inside out. The bag is then turned the right way round. The leather is wetted again before being stretched by means of pieces of wood placed inside the bag. This gives the bag its final form. Meanwhile, Mohammed carries on working on another bag. He prepares the different decorative elements as well as the straps buckles. These are stuck together before being sewn with a thin strip of leather. Mohammed and his sons all work on the same bag, frequently passing it back and forth.
It's now time to add the clasp. These are made from a long triangular piece of leather, which is rolled up, then pierced in the center. The final touch consists of adding the last decorative elements and clasp. The finished bag joins those made by the family over the last few days. In many houses on the hillsides around the village of Tarzut, families can be found working together in the main room, making all sorts of everyday items. Bags, wallets, belts, slippers, always with the same meticulousness. This is where the artisans of Tazut get their reputation. And when the day draws to a close and the sun disappears slowly behind the mountain top, the people of Tarzut enjoy getting together to dance to the sound of Berber music. <laughs> <laughs>